Hello again dear friends and uh, this time I will show you basically all the parts that I bought and already have for my uh, FPV 450 quadcopter build so as you can see this is the frame and uh, it's actually called Alien but I've heard uh, also different different names for this one like low cost or uh, uh, I don't know anyway it's uh, it looks very much like the team black ship uh, TBS discovery as you can see it's an X frame and uh, this one uh, as you can see has the front legs more apart distance apart so it doesn't interfere with the normal field of view that the camera would have you can see that yeah okay so basically what I did I just mounted the motors which are uh, sunny sky X2212 980kV so this is what I use for this build I also mounted temporarily the Creus All-in-One Pro Flight Controller version 2 uh, as you can see as a idea maybe you you can use it or maybe you have a better idea I just cut a small piece of uh, gyro foam from my Tarot ZYX fly barless controller which I just put beneath so it, it is supposed to absorb some vibration so I will have to see if it will be actually effective or not so of course everything or almost everything from, from this small table will have to fit on the on the quadcopter okay of course this is the top plate which will keep the the thing together because now it's it's moving but just looking at this HJ arms they look pretty strong I don't know actually how strong they are but I hope I'll never have to find out okay so this is just quickly the frame now let's go through all the bits and pieces here okay let's start from left to right let's say uh, this is a uh, GPS uh, holder so I read the many forums that it's really important that the GPS is above the the li lane uh, where uh, the, the propeller uh, spin because uh, it interferes with the GPS signal okay I have plastic propellers but the carbon fiber are obstructing even more I heard so anyway uh, this will raise the GPS a bit higher so if you wonder uh, where's the best price for this I will put the link on my on my, my blog and also on the YouTube below the, the video so this one looks really nice easy to fit and I hope it will work well okay next one it's the GPS receiver so this one is also from Creos it's version 2 so as you can see it looks like this one already pre-fitted with this cable and this is the FTDI programmer which you have to use in order to to upload the modified file for the GPS using the uBlocks uh, software okay next one I got also the Bluetooth connection interface which I didn't open yet so it's nothing special again from Cruise. now it's the 30 amp speed controllers uh, it's just basically normal speed controllers I don't know if this is original or not hobby wing I'll have to see later unfortunately two of these uh, came just dead on arrival so the the supplier the web shop will resend it again okay because this board doesn't have the uh, basically the power connection on the on the bottom of the quad frame so I have to get this one additionally because I will use this kind of lipo battery so I don't want to change all the connection I already have so that's why I got this one 
I already soldered the U-back that I will use for the flight controller and it has the four split it basically yeah like connecting in parallel yeah the pluses and the minus for the, all the speed controllers yeah so four speed controllers two power cords each one eight so we have it here okay this one it's the mounting plate that uh, left from from the motor so i just keep it here in the back Okay, this one is something that I think it's really useful for everybody to have. It's the OSD. Again, Mavlink OSD. So it's really useful because now if you have FPV equipment, you don't need telemetry anymore to, to see the voltage or to see the home direction and things like this. So I strongly suggest you get it. Okay, another useful thing. I think it's, uh, it's this one. It's voltage and uh, amp. Uh, it shows you basically the voltage and the amp consumption you have left in in your in your battery. So also I think it's really good. And combined with the OSD, it basically show how much battery left you have. So you don't need to rely on buzzer or any other thing like that. So these two it's good to have. Propellers. Yeah, I choose this orange one for the back and the, the black one in the front just because I just show you in one second that was the reason. Yeah, this is the reason. It's my Ladybird from Valkyra version 1, so I already practiced playing with this little thing. And uh, I'm already used to having uh, orange on the back. I, I know people put sometimes orange in the front or other side or other colors, but I'm used to this one, so I, I'll follow the same on the bigger quadcopter. Okay, uh, regarding receiver, because I already have a Valkyra Devo 10, I will use this RX1002 10 channel receiver which I had on one of my helicopters before, my 450. Okay, now talking about buzzers and uh, other things, I got already this uh, lost model alarm. So basically you interconnect it on a channel used on the receiver. So basically all the signal will go from one point through this device to the other one. And if there is no activity, no input for like one minute, or if you turn off your transmitter, then it will it will make a lot of noise. Yeah. Hopefully for the quadcopters, because when you turn it off, the safe mode, the safe uh, feature will will be activated, like return to landing and things like this. So, but still, I think it's good to have. Now uh, again, a lipo monitor, which shows you the battery and also at the preset level it makes a big noise. Okay. Now the FPV camera, which is a Sony 600 uh, television lines. So you already seen the unboxing and the content in in a previous movie I made. So I will not insist too much on this one. Now some nice things that I want to to use. It's some uh, colored LED stripes, uh, which I got from Hobby King. So one is red and the other one is white. So I will put it basically on the on the front and rear side. So the red ones will be here on the back side of the quadcopters, and the white one will be here in front. So it will help the the orientation. And uh, I've seen people doing night flights in really really good condition. So to be honest. Uh, it's pretty bright and just okay quickly show you one so this is the red one so basically you have two cables red which is the the power the plus and black which is the minus like always so let's see how it looks like so yeah it's very bright and very visible it's self adhesive so you can really easily put it on the arms of the quadcopters so I strongly suggest you get it it's fun and looks nice 
Also regarding lights, I ordered this also from Hobby King. It's basically a buggy, buggy car light system. So this one I already tried. I will not plug it again. So it's with LEDs. It comes with just the LEDs inside, and this is optional. So there are two parts that you need to order: the case, the case, and this one. And it, it will be in the front of the quadcopters and I think I'll power it from the FPV battery system just by activating it manually. Okay, here there are some spacers, nothing special for mounting the GPS maybe. And yeah, some hitch ring, red color, I have also black. Some, some cable ties to attach the speed controllers to the arms. Okay, we should look through this one. Okay, now to the FPV part. Uh, I got this combo, which is uh, 5.8 giga, gigahertz and 200 milliwatt power. So as you can see, it's already uh, fitted with the JST. So basically, put 12 volt from from a LiPo battery here, and this is the the signal input of course you have to connect the antenna before powering on otherwise you have problems and this is the RC5808 the receiver that works with that antenna the good thing about it it has two AV outs so you can use for example with some goggle and somebody watching it on the on the LCD so I think it's really useful and this one comes with the, the power plug which basically just connect this one here and this one goes to the 12 volt LiPo and of course this one goes in any of the AV out and basically this is where you get the output signal for viewing on your LCD or whatever goggles you have okay here I have some extension cable, basically servo cables which I'll have to use to connect the receiver with the transmitter uh, with the flight controller, sorry, and yeah, maybe other connection and the other additional stuff that I connect on the flight controller and yeah, basically this is all the stuff I plan to use now telemetry, I don't really see the point of having that I don't plan to have full autonomous flight for my quadcopters at this moment so yeah for flying the quad I plan to use this kind of batteries and for powering the FPV kit I plan to use this kind of batteries which I already have for my Valkyra Master CP helicopter initially I considered some uh, 600 milliamp version of same battery but the, the weight difference between this and that is maybe 10 grams so yeah I just want to keep the cost low and don't buy any additional stuff that I really don't need so following this video I will do more uh, regarding the, the steps of the build and uh, I, I'll keep you posted so until next time yeah bye bye and take care